Hello, and welcome to World of Tanks, with me, the most derpy one, aka Mr. Sarrett. All on my own today, so I am back to being the most derpy one. A couple of things to cover off. First of all, we're not playing the Panzer 3-4, which we're looking at here. I have been playing it a little bit. Trying to grind out to the next tank, the VK-3001D. It's the only real option that we have to go along at the moment for from the Panzer 34, you used to be able to get to the VK-3001H, which is why I have this tank here unlocked without the tank before it unlocked. Eh, it happens. Anyway, um, it is a heavy tank. It used to be a medium tank, so it used to be in this line. It's not anymore. I'm still working my way along here to get to the Leopard 1. Leopard 1 main... Oh, well, it's not a main battle tank. In real life, it's a main battle tank, and that's because this tank here is actually the tank Australia used up until not too long ago. Now, sadly, it's a 1960s tank. But anyway, we're getting sidetracked. We're not going down that line today. I've been playing a few new tanks. I've actually gone down the Russian line. So we've got a few Russian tanks here. The LTP was a freebie that you received simply for playing World of Tanks back when they had their big celebration. Now, new people that are just starting the game today, and possibly for the next little bit, they are still getting this LTP in their garage. So it's a free free premium tank, free premium tank, and it is uh, tier 3, fully upgraded, ready to go. So, yeah, might as well jump in and see if you get it now. You don't... You're not losing anything for, <laughs> for trying the game. But that's not the tank I've been trying. That there's free. I've had in my garage for a while. Played a little bit. Don't like it. Let's move on. I have been playing TDs, of course. The Russian TDs. They're fixed. No turret. A little bit different to play than what I'm used to with the Hellcats and the T25 slash 2s. The AT1 is the tier 2 tank and the SU-76 is the tier 3. Now, you wouldn't expect these to be a grind, but they absolutely are a grind. Because, I've got this one fully researched, ready to go to the SU-85B. Low tiers, it's either you're on the team that absolutely slaughters them, or the other team just rolls over you. So it can be very difficult. You can go 10 plus games low tier without winning a game, just because your own team is a little bit incompetent. I'm not going to show you these today, even though we haven't played them before. I'm actually going to show you something new, very new for me in fact. That is this guy here. I've painted him up just for the fun of it. Cost a little bit, but yeah, I had some spare cash, so I did. This thing here, this is an SPG or a self-propelled gun. It's artillery. I've been playing artillery. Now this is the tier 3 Russian artillery piece. Tier 2 is this little guy here, and he's a shocker. He's really bad. The SU-26 isn't much better. But uh, I think I'll give him a shot probably lose. I'm on a bit of a losing streak at the moment. Service record for this guy, you see, I, I, I did have this up at 51 point something or other, but yeah, been playing a lot of low tier tanks, so I've been struggling. I'm dropping down. The SU-26, I have a 57% win ratio on this guy, surprisingly. 44 games played, so I haven't played a great deal of games. I'm averaging only uh, not even one kill, actually. Not even one kill a match. I'm two-thirds <laughs> of a kill a match. But I am surviving more, or killing more, than I'm dying, so, yeah. Um, yeah, pretty average stats with it, really. It's very hard to get in a low-tier game that is guaranteed to be a good game. Now, before we jump into this battle, there is one other thing, I will warn you, I'm going to lose, but there's one other thing that I want to point out, and that is this little symbol here, which maxes, matches up with this symbol up here. I'm in a clan. Now, I've been sent the, an invite to join a clan. I'm only in the Academy clan. Um, we may look through it a little bit later. There's a few... Uh, that's the clan tab where we can chat with other clan members and ask if we want to platoon up and all that. Uh, Pusty from last week, he's not in the clan. He doesn't play often enough to, to be in the clan. I'm not really going to... I haven't been given 
uh, permission to go through the clan. So all I'm doing now is showing you that yes, I am in a clan. I can't. I'm not going to show you all about the clan and tell you all about it though. So, yep, no point asking. Um, can't do it yet. Anyway, let's get into this match. It is only tier three. This particular self-propelled gun. We'll have a look at the stats after this match. All the stats, all the equipment, and everything. Uh, what are we? Tier 5, I'm in Tier 3. Uh, looking there, the Churchill one, the KV ones, I'm not going to be able to penetrate <laughs> any of them. I have got an upgraded gun. Oh, this is one of the new maps, too. I don't actually know where to go for this map. For this map. I guess we'll just reverse up and sit in the bush right there next to the, next to the train tracks. Um, yeah, I do have the upgraded gun and I've got a few different types of ammo that I'm trying trialing. The ammo that is currently loaded, it is armor penetrating. It does a fair bit of penetration. In fact, it's the same penetration as the gold ammo, the premium ammo. However, it's got no splash damage. So you hit, you do damage, you don't hit, you don't do any damage. The second ammo there, you can see down the bottom, this in blue. Alright, this one down the bottom here, up there is high explosive, does quite a lot of damage but its penetration is low and it has splash damage I believe. Now your premium is high explosive anti-tank, so it does the same damage as the armor piercing, not great, but much better penetration. And we've gone too far there. Alright, now what you do to get into this mode, <laughs> you hit left shift, it'll drop you into the overhead, the tactical... the tactical map, or... oh, I think I hit him then. And you just gotta roam around the field, roam around the battlefield, and hope for the best. Now you can see this tanky, this gun is actually not very accurate. Oh, he's dead. I can't shoot on the other side of buildings, of course. So you got to find somebody that's not in cover, like this guy right here. Wait for your target to zoom down and miss. <laughs> Welcome to this gun. If I was higher up, it would not. Oh, well, that was a waste of a shot. If I was higher up than where I was aiming, it'd be more of a circle than what it actually is. And let's see. Hope for a bit of splash damage. Uh, I'm pretty sure mine was the first one, which did no damage. Alright, splash damage, kill him, kill him. Didn't get anywhere near him. Yeah, the gun that I've got currently is terribly inaccurate. No, no good. Well, I'll aim for the KV-1. I'm not going to be able to damage him. I might be able to track him. That's about the best I could hope for. Critical hit. There you go, I tracked him. So he's out in the open for my alloy, alloys, allies to do a bit of damage to. Critical hit. Tracked him again. That's about the best I can hope in a tier 3 tank destroyer. Critical hit. I think I'm... I'm hitting him, but I'm only tracking. Yeah. Yep. Now we're not doing terribly this time around. We're at 4-3. Uh, Still early. Can go either way yet. Uh, uh, no, I don't have a shot on him. You, I don't quite have a shot on, I don't believe. Let's see. Can we, no, no. Have to go pretty far past him. No shots. Let's have a little roam around. Our KV-1 is... Thinking on that Panzer 3-4. Now, Panzer 3-4 is going to struggle against this guy. Against the KV-1. Uh, no, that was a waste of a shot. And I don't have any shots on him now because he's most likely behind a mountain. Yes, he sure is. Now the other artillery is up on top there, which is a good idea. Uh-oh. Now, looking at the map, this is another thing you must do when you're artillery. 
check out the map down about J6, not sure if you can tell where J6 is, but the very middle bottom there, we've got no cover coming through from that direction. Which is why I'm moving. Because the enemy have a clear line straight into us artillery at the back. Alright, an AT-1, we've finally got an angle on him. And he disappears just as we're aiming in. Good chance I'm going to hit that rock in front, and I do. I'm going to give him another crack. And we... Critical hit him! Mm, critical hit him as well. Didn't do a great deal of damage. Never do a great deal of damage with these rounds. We didn't even scratch them! Didn't even scratch him. Fantastic. Let's try a... We didn't even scratch them! Well, I hit him with a... Armour penetrating shot, but uh, didn't do much damage. In fact, none. Uh, let's try a little bit of splash damage. How lucky we get. No idea, because he's disappeared. Up here we've got the VK-3001H. Now that there is the new heavy tank. It's not a new tank, but it's newly been made a heavy tank. Has fairly thin armour. These rounds here do not have the armour to penetrate him from the front. I don't quite have a shot on him. Oh wow, well, KB-1 just carved it. Now we're doing far worse. <laughs> uh, pretty much a stomp you might say. There is only four of us left, including two artillery, and we've only killed five of them. So from a good game to a not so good game. Alright, AT2. We didn't even scratch them. Didn't even scratch him. Now this tank is a pain to try and damage. It's got a lot of armour. Critical hit. Got him. That was lucky. There's a Panzer IV just over here. I don't have a shot on him though. He's gonna kill him away. And I'm it. I am the last tank on my team. Well, that was great. He knows I'm over here. Possibly seen me fire, but mostly it's simply because where else would I be? So let's go over and make it nice and easy for him. Oh, he's behind me. This vehicle is had Down. It. Yeah, unfortunately that seems to be the way that these games go. Artillery can't carry these matches. There's no way an artillery piece can carry these matches. Only done 98 damage out of all those shots. 8 hit, plus a splash damage, only 3 penetrating and only 98 damage. You don't do a great deal of damage in this, in this little tank. Yeah. There are a couple other guns we can look at. Now this one here, what are we looking? Average damage 110, average penetration 70, average penetration 80, average damage 110. And the stock standard, average penetration 42, average damage 164. So you can see that, um, yeah, your options, not great. It's the best that we got, unfortunately. Let's give it another shot, because that was miserable. That's pretty standard, though. I can't carry, I can only do my job if they do their job. It generally involves them not dying. It's another tier 5, what I wouldn't give for a tier 3 match. <laughs> One where I can do some good damage. That's very random, very random artillery. You get... Okay, they're going to be able to flank us quite easily. You get matches that are just absolute blinders. Absolutely fantastic matches where... You, everything you hit, you'll do 200 damage and... It's great. But then you get others like that one there where... You hit and you hit and you hit and you do no damage and... Your team also do no damage. Let's go! Pretty standard for these things. 
we got a bison, another artillery piece, there's two artillery on our team in this match, one on the enemy, and I don't really know where to go, this is the first time I've played artillery on this map as well. Oh, there's a tree in the way. Can't see a thing. Oh, fine. I can't see anything. Now, I'm trying to shoot over a hill. So I'm in a very bad spot. Our guys will probably end up on this ridge here. The enemy will come over this ridge here, most likely. And may even plonk down over here. But I've got to move because I'm not in the best of spots. Taking out tree after tree, that's telling everyone where I am. Not a good idea. Alright. As good as any. Now we gotta sit back. Find our range. And not good. We've got a scout tank. Looking for us. Oh, too far. Here he is. He's dead, thankfully. That guy's up on the hill there, got that kill. And here's the cap. This is where the enemy are currently hanging out. Another guy right here, an AT-20, little scout. Be happy to see him die. We just seen some trees fall here which tells us that there is in fact enemy there as well. Over here you've got a T-46. This is great for wandering around and watching the map for the fun of it. Put a random shot out there. Don't have a shot on you. Or do I? Just take out the... Take out the cover at any rate. Let's just put a random shot down there because if they, our guys don't get down there soon. We are going to lose this. That was my hit. Ah! Yeah, I thought he'd be behind there. I was hoping for a little bit of splash damage to reset that. No luck, unfortunately. Can't get him. That guy's dead. Come on, get down there and do your job, tanks. I don't have the splash damage to do any damage to him from there. Can't get him. T28, look, just get into the cap circle. Gets into the cap circle and that stops them from capping at least. SU-85 spotted. Take a shot. That dropped way short. No, you're in cover. KV-1, can't do anything to... T-34, you I can. If I can get a shot on you. Oh, don't do that to me. Hit the rock in front. Just fine blind, but that went way, way past, or to the side, really. Try this M4. That was close. That was close. Yeah, great. No, it's gone too close. That SU-85 is gone. We're actually winning this so far. Oh, we need this KV-1 to get in there. Let's hope for a little bit of... Let's hope we get it through and we get a bit of splash damage on him. No, no, no good. He's backing off. Understandable. A bit slow to react there. 
All right, well, let's let's give this Churchill a little bit of a crack. I've hit where he is. He's possibly tracked, but I doubt it. That definitely hit. Ah, oh, we've we've got behind them. All right, let's get down on this KV one. Oh, he's tracked, good. Wasn't me, unfortunately, but... Critical hit! Got a critical hit on him. Chances are all that was was a tracking. Aiming for just the back, hoping to come down on top. Nah, uh, missed by a mile. And there's mine also missing by a mile. Again. There's the Churchill. So he was tracked for some time, I'm guessing. Guy is in a bit of trouble right now. have a better shot on this guy now. We do. Oh, missed. <laughs> oh, he's dead. So we've got a couple of heavies up here and a medium somewhere. There's one less heavy. There's the KV-1, which we missed yet again. Now, the, the stock standard gun on this is far more accurate, I find. That does doesn't penetrate, doesn't do any damage. I mean, this guy, this tank, this tank, this gun, that hit, but wouldn't have done any damage. This one doesn't do any damage either. <laughs> so, really, they're hitting because you can see the shots going in and no explosion, which means, yeah, they've, they've struck him. That was mine, and this guy is the last one alive. see. Boom! So he's not there. He's moved forward. Okay. Flying in, he's coming in to die. Critical hit. Ah, critical hit him. <laughs> no damage though. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, that was me that missed. Alright. There's my shot coming in too late. <laughs> Alright, well, that's, that's a win at least. That's an idea of what artillery is. It's it's a frustrating game. And let's have a look. 28 shots fired, only five hit, plus three splash damage, only one penetrated. Enemies damaged one. I done four damage. What I wouldn't give for artillery to either have a decent gun or not be in a tier five match with a bunch of KV ones that I can't penetrate even from the top. But anyway, that's something for me to complain about in private, I guess. That's the artillery that we've been playing. I am ready to upgrade. I'm ready to go to the next tier. I'm not going to just yet, not only because I'm out of cash, but because I want to train these guys up. I don't have 100% on them. I want to get these guys up pretty high. I'm going to get the SU-18 up as well. And then I'm just going to recycle these guys with my artillery. But anyway, that is the episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have, hit like, subscribe, leave a comment. And you know what? Scratch that. I said I was going to show you what I've got on here, the equipment. Let's do that first. Alright, so we have the top radio with 615 signal range. If you don't have this thing, you're stuck with this guy. 350 signal range. You're going to lose your guys and you're not going to be able to know where the enemy is. You're going to have to move forward. So the radio is very important with artillery. Engine, got the top engine as well, 130 engine power. It's not too important once you're in position. You don't really want to move. Tracks, basically, again, you don't... You want them for the increased weight that you can carry, but you don't really need them for anything else. The main important thing with these... Uh, artillery pieces is the radio and the gun. Now, I've shown you the guns already, but yeah, this is the gun that I'm using, the 76mm gun mod 1902-3040 caliber, as opposed to the 30 caliber 76mm equivalent over here. Well, they're all 76mm. This one here is the gun that you actually start off with, regimental gun model 1927, does nothing. 
which, funny enough, is the gun that you get on the SU-18, the predecessor. It's the only gun you get on that gun, on that, um, artillery. But anyway, that's it. That's everything I've got on it. I haven't even bothered with repair kits or, or med packs or any of this. If you get hit, it's game over. There's, there's no point trying to repair, there's no point in, you know, fixing up your party member. You get hit, you're dead. It's as simple as that, so... No point. And I haven't added any equipment because... I, this is costing a lot of money. It's, it's not really worth it at lower tier. Maybe I can get something, you know... Maybe... I don't know. What have we got? Well, that's no good. Yep, no. See, you, the first thing that's really of any use, you're getting up to about 300,000, and it's, it's just not worth it. Even the next tier artillery piece is only 147,000 to purchase, so... I mean, why why would you spend that much on a tank that's never going to make that out back? But anyway, that is the episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have, hit like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.